hello students today we are going to solve revision exercise question number 5 revision exercise question number 1 2 3 and 4 you have already done so here is question number 5 solve the following in your notebook because space is not given to you in the textbook so let's see here first Even six hundred eighty eight plus one hundred twenty two. While writing in notebook, you are going to make the columns like hundreds, tens, and ones. Write down six hundred eighty eight plus one hundred twenty two. Start with ones. Eight plus two zero. Why? Because we got the answer. Ten, so one we will carry forward to tens column. Now here one plus eight, nine plus two, eleven. We'll write one here, and one we will carry forward towards the hundreds column. Now here one plus six, seven plus one, eight. So our answer is eight hundred and ten. Next, we are having three hundred two plus one hundred fifty eight plus four hundred seventy one. Make the columns hundred, tens, and ones. Now here you write down the number three hundred two one hundred fifty eight. Plus four hundred seventy one. Okay, now two plus eight, ten plus one, eleven. Write down one in ones column. Carry forward one towards the tens column. One plus zero, one plus five, six. Plus seven, six plus seven, thirteen. Write down three in the tens column. Carry forward one in hundreds column. Now here, one plus three, four plus one, five plus four, five plus four, nine. So the answer is nine hundred. Thirty-one. Next, we are having five hundred sixty-seven and three hundred twelve. Right here, hundreds, tens, ones. Now, write the first given number that is five hundred sixty-seven plus next number that is three hundred twelve. Now add seven plus two, nine six plus one, seven five plus three, eight. Okay. Now D one. Again make the columns hundred tens ones. Write down the first number given, five hundred forty three. Then we are having forty-seven. So we write in tens column and ones column. Forty-seven plus ten. Write in tens and ones column. One zero. Seven plus three. Ten plus zero. Ten. So you write down zero in ones column. Carry forward one in a tens column. One plus four. Five. Plus four, nine. Plus one, ten. So write down zero at the tens place. Carry forward one at the hundreds place. Here one plus five, six. So our answer is six hundred. Okay. Now come to the question number six. 
find the estimated sum by rounding off the number to the nearest hundred. Verify your answer by actual addition. Okay, let's see the first sum. Here is the first we are having 267 plus 321. First we will write the estimated sum while solving the estimated sum okay what we are supposed to do we are supposed to round off the given numbers so here we are having 267 and 321 when we round off the number to the nearest hundred we concentrate on the tens place in the first number at the tens place we are having six okay we are having six so hundreds place will increase by one and this two will become three so we round off it into the three hundred and the next number at the tens place we are having two so hundreds place digit will not change it will remain as it is like three and at the tens and ones place we will write zero so let's add them zero plus zero 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 plus zero zero three plus three six so our estimated sum is six hundred let's perform the actual addition for actual addition now 267 plus 321 7 plus 1 8 6 plus 2 8 2 plus 3 5 588 which is near to the 600 okay let's move to the another sum that is b 605 plus 122 now again we will do the same thing estimated sum and actual addition so here first write the estimated sum 605 as at the tens place we are having zero we will not going to increase hundreds place digit by one we will keep it as it is so six will remain as six only at the tens and ones place we will write down zero so it will become 600 next number is a 122 at the tens place we are having two so again no increase in hundreds place digit so 100 let's add 0 plus 0 0 0 plus 0 0 6 plus 1 7 okay that estimated sum is 700 now here actual addition 5 plus 2 7 0 plus 2 2 and 6 plus 1 7 so 727 which is nearby 700 okay now children let's move to the next question that is mentor maths here is the first question circle the odd one out children to find out which one is the odd one we need to add all the given problems okay here are the two numbers here two numbers okay so we need to 
add them we need to find their answer and then we will consider which one is the odd one okay so let's add them come on everyone will try to get the answer okay start adding the given numbers now here is our answer we have add the numbers given to us and we get the answer 777 for first number 811 for ne second number 777 for the third sum and 777 for the last one okay so who's the odd one that is 400 25 plus 386 is the odd one so let's circle this given addition problem so this is the odd one out now next come to the second addition sum here 403 plus 306 children we must able to calculate the addition without writing them in a by making the columns also okay so how we will do this just take a pencil now add ones place to the ones place digit okay tens place digit with a tens place digit and hundreds place digit with hundreds place digit now here we start with the ones first so 3 plus 6 will get 9 0 plus 0 will get 0 4 plus 3 7 so 709 ok next is third one two parcels weigh 240 gram and 130 gram total weight of the parcel is here also you can do this 0 plus 0 just write down 0 then 4 plus 3 will get 7 and at the hundreds place 1 plus 2 we will get 3 so total weight is 370 gram now some number problem number 4 the distance between house A and house B is 300 meter the distance between house B and house C is 550 meter the distance between house A and house C is what okay you can see here house A and B 300 meter then house B and C 550 meter okay so what we need to do we supposed to add both so once place 0 plus 0 you will get 0 tens place 0 plus 5 5 hundreds place 3 plus 5 you will get 8 that is 850 meter now next is the distance between Ahana's house and her school is 430 meter. She walks to school and back home every day. Total distance she cover each day is how much meter? As she is walking 4 30 meter towards the school and again 430 meter towards her 
how so 430 plus 430 what will be the answer 0 plus 0 0 3 plus 3 6 4 plus 4 8 so it will be 860 meter so children that's it for today take care bye